by Jama at the Red Bull ring. Lando Norris in the gravel. Three weeks ago, race three in Spielberg. Championship leader Lando Norris trying to win the title in fine style. Loses out over confusion with Ralph Aaron. Now, though, it's time for the finale to the FIA Formula 3 European Championship season for 2017. We're at Germany's Hockenheim Ring for round 10, the final three races of the season. And the question is, can anyone stop Lando Norris? The Carlin driver has a comfortable lead with nine wins already. He's 73 points ahead of his only rival, Maxi Gunter. 17-year-old Norris ran in the Formula One test this year in, Bar in Bud Budapest as well. Second fastest behind four-time world champion Sebastian Vettel. So what does the German think of him? has shown this year uh, is incredible and he had as a rookie, so I'm pretty sure he'll wrap it up and win it. But uh, yeah, obviously uh, from a German point of view, it would be nice if Max could get a bit closer and give him a hard time, but uh, we'll see. The Max in question was last year's runner-up, Maxi Gunter. The Prima Power Team driver is the only man with even a mathematical shot at the title. But the 20-year-old German must also be careful to defend second against Sweden's Joel Eriksson. The motor park driver is just six points behind. Yeah, that's unrealistic to, to challenge Lando for the, for the title. Our goal is here to have uh, three good races, uh, possibly three wins, uh, and for sure focus on the second place in the championship because that will stay up uh, in, in the records. Lots of racing heritage, Hockenheim Ring is well known for its fast flowing sections. So now it's time to let Mick Schumacher, Schumacher show us this four and a half kilometre circuit. Hello, I'm Mick Schumacher. We're here in Hockenheim. Very technical track, very quick track. Please come join me for one lap. Now we get to the first corner, which is the quickest corner of the track. Sixth gear, flat in poly, not in uh, FP. Because of uh, tire usage, you know, we have these tires. So now we have second corner, breaking at the green zone. Quite early turn in to then be able to go hard on power for the long straight that's following. So this straight, yeah, we mostly try to make the shortest distance as possible. And uh, I think we reach about 240 uh, kph at the end of the straight. This is a very hard braking uh, for the slowest corner of the track. First gear, and then power out with the little oversteer there, which is, uh, yeah, not wanted, but uh, I think if you go early enough on power, it's possible and it doesn't, doesn't kill too much speed. Here we have the Mercedes corner, which is second gear. Good apex, good exit. This section easy flat. Now we get to stadium entry, which is another very high speed corner in fifth gear, flat in poly. Hard and curves here. Now we get to sacks, which is very easy to let the front left. If you get it right, you can gain quite a, quite a bit of time there, which is always good to hear. Now we get to the last two corners, which are quite difficult because it's always a bit slippery there. It's off bank, off bank corner, off candle. So yeah, that was the lab with me. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, keep the fingers crossed for the weekend. Thank you. Time to head to race one of the Hockenheim ring. Starting from third place, car number one, Joel Eriksson, the Swede who won the last two races in Spielberg. Lando Norris lines up in second. To be honest, we've been building since Red Bull Ring, you know, we hoped to close everything there, and then that crazy last two laps, it didn't happen. Um, but hopefully today is no stress and we can uh, close it off. So fingers crossed. On pole. 53, Callum Eilert, the Prima Power Team driver, Lando Norris alongside makes a poor start, up into second goes Joel Eriksson, car number one, and Lando Norris tucks into third, Ferdy Habsburg in fourth behind him, the Carlin driver getting ahead of Carlin teammate Jihan Jaruvala as they rushed out at the first corner. Everybody safely through the first couple of turns and that's not always easy here. 
Maxi Gunter started in 12th place. He picks up one spot from Joey Mawson. Number three car moving slowly up the order. Meanwhile, Joel Eriksson looking to try and go around the pole sitter into the parabolica. Callum Eilert fighting back. But Joel Eriksson has the line. Car number one is the leader. Lando Norris in third. It's very close between the top three. Norris up the inside. Touched with Eilert. Eilert runs out wide. Through goes Lando Norris. And Ferdinand Habsburg moves up into second place. And watch again. Little touch with Lando Norris. Slows he and Callum Eilert. Habsburg in second, but Lando Norris, 31, attacking hard. Looks down the inside into the hairpin. Tight line in, wide line out. Habsburg knew it was coming. Cuts back. He's got the inside line to the next right-hander. But it's the dirtier part of the track. He's going to have to do well to hang on. Lando Norris trying to stay back on the inside into the stadium section, up into second place. Good race craft from both men, inches apart. Lando Norris in second place. Joel Eriksson leading. The team were hoping for three wins from him to move him up to the runner-up spot in the championship. Callum Eilert in fourth from pole. And it's a tough race for Maxi Gunter. Tatsuki Makino, number 11, with Ralph Aaron, number 7, right behind him, trying to go through on the inside in the sweeping left-hander. Maxi Gunter in 10th place, the pink number 3 machine. Trying to hang on to the runner-up spot in the championship. Race 1 not helping him. Lando Norris starting to reel in the race leader. Joel Eriksson coming under pressure. Norris not close enough to make a pass, but pushing hard. Pushing a little too hard on occasion. AstroTurf much less grippy than the track surface. Maxi Gunter out there as well. Fringing into the gravel. Struggling here in Hockenheim. And further off goes Callum Eilert. 27G Handuruvala attacking Callum Eilert. Carlin Driver trying to come by. The Premier Power Team number 53 car for fourth place. Outside line into the stadium complex. And that doesn't often work. Last corner of the race, Joel Eriksson still in the lead. His third race win in a row, but it's all too late for him. Lando Norris in second place seals the FIA Formula 3 European Championship title. Trevor Carlin and the team, finally, it's job done. Joel Eriksson, the winner. Lando Norris, the champion, with two races remaining in the season. Ferdy Habsburg completing the podium ahead of pole sitter Callum Eilert. Joel Eriksson running out with his third straight win. It was, was really good. It was really strong. We, yeah, the start was one of the best. And I think Lando had too much wheel spin. So it was, it was more like me and Callum on the, on the back straight. And uh, yeah, I got the slip stream with Callum. And then yes, went for the outside. And then I yes, managed to, to close the door just before the help him. Yeah, I'm sure you can expect I'm very happy. Uh, it's been a long year, tough year, but um, yeah, to end it with a win and uh, to win the championship already here with two races to go, I think was was much better than we expected. So um, I just got to say a big thanks to, to Carlin because yeah, I don't think I could have done it without them. So they did a very good job, um, not just for me, but yeah, for everyone. So yeah, a big thanks to them um, and everyone who supported me because yeah, it's been a a very good year for me and um, yeah, looking forward to the future. Third place in the end, I'm really happy and, 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 and it feels good to be back on the podium and a double podium for the team, which is great. And uh, yeah, I've I got some things to learn for the next two races and some things to improve on. 
and uh, I, I just I just want to crack on, have another two races and just freaking race it, you know. Lando Norris is the youngest ever Formula 3 European champion. We celebrate with him. After the first race in Hockenheim, Britain's Lando Norris is the new FIA Formula 3 European champion. British team Carlin breaks Premo Power Team's F3 championship winning streak as they claim their first title in the series. What, what an amazing year. What a superstar in the making he is. Uh, I'm lost for words. Lando Norris wins the opening round. First race, first win in Silverstone, but crashing out at round three in Poe. A win at the Norris Ring and two more at Spa. And then it's unbelievably strong in the rain at the Nürburgring. He takes the lead of the Drivers' Championship. Two wins and a second. Trying to win it in style in the final race in Austria. It would all have to wait until the final weekend. The title. Lando Norris is the FIA Formula 3 European Champion 2017. Yeah, to end up winning surpassed my expectations and I think a lot of others. So the team have done a great job from um, you know last year having a pretty difficult season to coming in now and um, and winning and beating Prema, you know, the favourites for, for the season. So yeah, I think it just doesn't make me happy, it makes everyone happy, uh, especially Trevor. So, um, yeah, I think it's just a lot of pressure off my shoulders and um, a proud moment for, for the whole team. The special livery on the Carlin car. We're ready for the second race of the weekend. Pro Power Team's Callum Eilert starts from pole position and hoping for a good battle for second place in the championship with Maxi Gunter and Joel Eriksson, now 12 points ahead of the German, who starts from sixth position. Callum Eilert again on pole, number three, Maxi Gunter, second on the grid, needs to make a good start, and he does, Lando Norris down in sixth, behind the number one car of Joel Eriksson. Another clean start in the long shadows. Down to turn two, side by side, Joel Eriksson and Lando Norris for sixth. And again, they are through cleanly. Jake Hughes defending fifth place from Pedro Piquet. As they head down to the hairpin. High speed slipstreaming battles. So easy to get it wrong. Lando Norris has to take to the grass to avoid running into the back of somebody. Goes out wide, drops way down the order. Take a look here. Runs out wide to avoid the tail of Guang Yu Zhu. He's down out of the top 10. Meanwhile, Joel Eriksson, number one car, attacking Jay Hughes. And Hughes attacking PK in front of him. That's the battle for fourth place. Behind the battle for 11th, Ralph Aaron, number seven, David Beckman, 55. And Lando Norris all over the back of Beckman. Callum Eilert, the leader from Maxi Gunter, Guang Yu Zhu. And at this stage, Maxi Gunter will pick up eight points more than Joel Eriksson to bring the gap down to 10 points. Number one car, Joel Eriksson, though, passing Jake Hughes for fourth position, closing in again. He's got the speed, Maxi Gunter further up the road. Joel Eriksson doing enough to hang on to fourth position.
Jake Hughes gets the run on him in the high-tech car. But Joel Eriksson with the inside line eases him out and hangs on to fourth. Again into the stadium section. Jake Hughes giving it everything he's got. Joel Eriksson desperately trying to hang on. Closing in behind, 53 car, uh, number five car rather, of Pedro Piquet. Out front, 53, Callum Eilert leading comfortably. Lando Norris in 12th spot. Lando Norris continuing to try and push his way up the order. Finally manages to squeeze around the outside of David Beckman and then forces Beckman to defend and goes through for 11th. Callum Eilert canters to his sixth win of the season. Premier Power Team seal the team's championship 2017 with a 1-2-3. Maxi Gunter in second for Premier and Guang Yuzhu in third for the Italian squad. Competition is really high. Credit to Lando and to Carlin for the great battle. And of course, we are really happy for the team championship. That's, uh, that's a great result for all the team. Guang Yuzhu third, Maxi Gunter in second, Callum Eilert victorious for Prema. The pace was just so good. Every lap I was pulling away from the others and considering they're in the same team as me, it's a bit, it was obviously a good, good performance. So. I, I don't know, just just good feeling with the car, good conditions, yeah, it just worked well. P2 is a good podium, good result for the team for sure, I'm happy for them, um, and yeah, now I'm, I keep pushing and I uh, want to win the race tomorrow. After Ericsson got past behind me, he was super quick compared to me, so I was mainly just putting consistent lap time and uh, no mistakes during the race, which in the end will work out pretty well, and uh, another podium position, yeah, really, really happy. So who will be the championship runner? Germany's Maxi Gunter now lies 12 points behind Swede. Joel Eriksson with one race remaining. Final race of the FIA Formula 3 European Championship at the Hockenheim Ring. The DTM finale also bringing in a crowd of 150,000 fans over the weekend. And the battle for runner-up spot is on. We want to win the race, um, we, do, we want to do the best job we can and uh, if we do that we will be P2 in the championship and that's the crucial thing for us. Maxi Gunter lies 12 points behind Joel Eriksson but the German will start from pole, his Swedish rival just fifth. The stakes are high. Away they go for the final time in 2017. Good start from Maxi Gunter, Prema Power Team driver. Poor start from Callum Eilert from the outside of the front row. He loses four spots and that allows Joel Eriksson, the number one car, to move up to fourth place and Lando Norris, 31, up to fifth. Disastrous getaway for Callum Eilert, who won the first two races. Approaching the hairpin, Maxi Gunter comfortably clear. Joel Eriksson looking down the inside of Jake Hughes. Moves through into third place. Good move down the inside from Joel Eriksson. All Maxi Gunter can do is win the race, but if Eriksson closes onto his tail, it's out of his hands. Mick Schumacher comes in with a loose front wing after contact with number seven, Ralph Aaron, into the turn three for the first time and the wing has damaged Aaron's car left front puncher Joel Eriksson has caught Guang Yu Zhu the number eight car has moved by him up into second place but not everybody is having such an easy time for in the Saxe Kurve not enough room for Ferdi Habsburg. He makes contact with Yuri Vips, the Estonian, who won Germany's Formula 4 championship, is a guest starter. Full course yellow as Habsburg.
buries the damaged car in the barriers. No harm done to him. And at the restart, huge gaps through the field. Lando Norris attacking Jake Hughes for fourth place, goes through at the hairpin. Maxi Gunter leading the race for Prema. Joel Eriksson in second, Guang Yuzhu in third, another Prema, one, two, three. Joel Eriksson for Motor Park in second. Lando Norris for Carlin up in fourth place. Callum Eilert down to sixth position behind Jake Hughes. And Jake Hughes trying to fight his way back. Battle for fifth spot. Hughes gets along the inside into the stadium complex. Out of turn seven, but through they come. And the inside line not working for him. Take a look again at the hairpin. Little lockout from Jake Hughes, Callum Eilert. Keeping the car under control, skates across his nose. Final lap, Maxi Gunter heading towards victory for Prema. Last race of the year, he is victorious. But with Joel Eriksson in second place, it is the Swede who will be the championship runner-up. Motor Park team doing exactly what they'd hoped. Guang Yuzhu for Prema, rounding out the podium in third place. Maxi Gunter, third in the points. But the winner of the final race. From the start, uh, I went very well off the, off the line, um, pulled a big gap and controlled the race. And for sure, it's uh, an amazing feeling to win in, in front of my home crowd. In the motodrome, it's still a lot of people. And yeah, it's something very special for me. I'm really happy for the victory. And um, yeah, good way to finish the season. I'm just enjoying the, in the, toy, the time because you never know what's happening in, uh, next year. So yeah, I was just enjoying and having as much fun as possible. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm only happy now. Happy to back on double podium, uh, the last round, and they show us the potential, show us where we really are for the championship. So yeah, really looking forward to, for the future. So here is the final drivers' championship table. Maxi Gunter in third, five points adrift of Joel Eriksson, but no doubting the champion, Lando Norris, is the 2017 FIA Formula Three European champion. Congratulations to him and to team's title winners, Prema Power Team. And that's it for 2017. Join us next year for more action from the stars of the future. Ravenol supports Formula 3, a powerful partnership.